Hello, Internet. I'm Mr. Shark the Shark Puppet, and this is Shark vs. Anime. Say your prayers and stock up on 5 yen coins, because I'm reviewing Noragami this week. Your wish has been granted. Okay, stop me if you've heard this one before. Noragami stars a likable group of misfits with supernatural abilities who fight evil spirits and... Oh, you've heard this one before? Uh, did I mention that one of the main characters is a god and another is an attractive schoolgirl and that... Mm, still sounds familiar, huh? Okay, look. The ghost-busting premise of Noragami has been used 11 billion times in anime, but it's the execution that matters here. Over its first six episodes, this show has been good across the board. It's got a fun group of characters who engage in witty banter on a regular basis. It's got a sinister big picture that's being slowly revealed. It's got high production values and exciting fight scenes. It's even been able to throw in some fresh humor with a character whose soul keeps losing track of its body. If checking all the boxes for fun doesn't sell you on Noragami, then I should also mention that the show can handle some serious drama surprisingly well. It's done a good job so far of addressing themes like death and regret without changing the tone too suddenly. Noragami even manages to get supernatural horror right, and the evil spirits that the characters face give me the shivers. The show uses a bunch of creepy eyes to announce the arrival of a monster which is... Uh, wait, what, what, what's behind me? Ah! Ouch! Eat, ooh, ah! Come here, you little... Ah, shoot it! Shoot it! Kill it with fire! And... stay out! Hmm. Anyway. Funimation is simulcasting Noragami this season, so check it out if you're looking for a good supernatural show. That's it for this week, but I'll be back next time with another review. In the meantime, go have a look at sharkpuppet.com for more anime and geeky goodness. Yay!